Hey, what's going on, good family? It's Joseph Trujillo from EXP Realty. I'm super, super pumped up, super excited to bring to you this first broadcast of mine. And I have uh, one of the most um, influential agents um, in my organization and here at EXP, who I'll be interviewing here shortly. Uh, Mr. Will Higgins, we'll be talking about his first year um, attractions, his first year successes over at EXP Realty. I'm excited to bring them to you. Let's get this party started. Mr. Will Higgins, what's up, baby? What's happening? what's happening? How you doing, man? Oh, man, I'm living my best. What's the good word out there, baby? Yeah, hey, if I was doing any better, I'd be you, brother. Yeah, there you go. There you go, man. <laughs> well, welcome welcome to uh, welcome to the live Dream Case, uh, Chasers uh, broadcast. Uh, pleased to have you here, my bro. And um, as I gave you that intro, man, I kind of got a little bit of low-key chills, man, because it was <laughs> just about a year ago, man, when... When uh, we got the good word that you were going to be coming on board and, um, you know, creating a quite an impact, not just in our in our group and our organization, but here at EXP Realty. So I, I want to first, from a place of humility, thank you for your partnership, um, our friendship um, and your brotherhood, man. So thank, thanks for coming on board with us, Will. Thank you, brother. No, it's been a, it's been an amazing experience, man. Uh, much more than I could have ever expected. And things happened a lot faster than I, than I thought they would happen. So, man, I'm grateful, bro. Grateful for the opportunity. Well, let's jump right into it, my bro, because uh, everybody wants to know. I know we're broadcasting right now to um, a lot of the people in my circle. Um, and, and if you guys haven't had a chance to connect with Will, uh, it's something that you need to do immediately. Um, and we'll throw his socials at the end of this. But, Will, tell us a little bit about the journey, brother. Let's take us back a year. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and let, you know, put us in Will's shoes when you were making that big decision about, you know, why, why EXP at that time? Um, I know that was a, a big story at the time. So share with us a little bit about that journey. Yeah, man, it, it was, uh, it had a lot to do with where I saw the market going, man, and just kind of what was going on with my situation. I mean, you know, it was great where I was at, at the last brokerage. I mean, nothing bad to say. I came from KW. Love KW, love the training, love the people. Um, got the opportunity to speak on the big stage with them. Just, I mean, it was just a great, just a, a great experience, right? Um, but I saw where the market was going, man. And um, it's just like diversification, right? Like, you know, uh, agents buy houses and invest in stock and have all these other different things in their tool belt to diversify what they're doing. Well, I, I saw immediately that. I was a one trick pony. You know what I mean? So um, if I didn't sell a house, th there was nothing coming in. And there was a problem there because I, I came from corporate America, man, where we had ownership in the company. Um, you know, we had stock revenue share, like every, you know, all the things that I saw at EXP we had, you know, um, and along with that, you know, there was the, the, the just from my experience that you, you're going to find two types of agents that come to EXP. One, the ones that see the opportunity and come, and then the other ones that are a little disgruntled, you know? So I had a, a little bit of both. Um, just the, the profit share just wasn't working out for me where I was at, you know what I mean? Um, right. And I saw, when I saw the EXP model, like I saw me and me in it and my influence and what I could, what it could do, man. And honestly, it's been, it's been great, dude. <laughs> I, I remember telling a few people when you came on board, I said, um, we'll... You know, Will's a smart cat. You know, if this doesn't work out for him, he's going to he's going to pull the plug. He'll leave. Yep. Um, I knew that from the onset. And so what I loved about you, man, is you came in, bro, and you you did like you dove, dove in the deep end from the mm -hmm. jump because I, I had the sense that you were like, OK, if I'm going to give this a shot, I'm going to give it my all. And if it works, it works. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Is that a pretty good overview of what you were going through at the time? Yeah, man. Just everything I saw on paper. Um, I put a, a two to three year plan in place 
where I would have options that if I didn't want to sell a house, I didn't have to. And bro, it, I mean, it's happened much faster. I, I mean, maybe we'll get into it, but it's happened much faster than, than I thought it would. So yeah, I mean, I, I, I had to give it my all, man, because, you know, at, at the other brokerage, I, I could work for 10, 15, 20 years and, and, and it's the same result, right? Close the transaction and uh, I'm fired. Here, um, it, mean, it means something to close a deal, you know? It means something to close the deal. 100%, man. So let's dissect that if you if if you don't mind, bro. Um, because again, <clears throat> one, one of the negative perceptions of EXP is that we're, we're just a recruiting company, right? And so we yep. wanna debunk that because um, you and I know, we talk about every day how we lead from the front, especially when it comes to being in production. And so you're 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 that you're that 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 two armed bandit man where you can you're in production but you're also building this huge entity uh, that's part of your long game. So let's let's talk about production, man. So yeah. coming coming from where you came from, how were you able to to pivot so quickly and bring that business and not almost skip a beat and still be hyper productive here at EXP? Yeah, no matter what real estate company you're at if your processes are in place that's your production that goes with you wherever you go so i had no no qualms about about leaving literally all i did was change the banner all my business everything came like your clients don't care i didn't i didn't have to tell my clients that i was switching brokerages what do they care you know they yeah. still get me so so that's the main part there um i think where agents miss a beat they think that something's going to change because they switch brokerages. You know, I, I've always had my own um, processes outside of the company, right? So uh, KW had command. I didn't use command. I had my own, you know, CRM, um, my own marketing. Everything was mine. So, I mean, I could leave, I could leave EXP today and my production wouldn't change, right? Right. So it, it, any agents out there that are watching, uh, you got to have your own system, systems and processes set up, right? Like I, I, you can't lean on somebody else or somebody else's brand. That's that, that's what they want you to do because now you're stuck there, right? I can pick up and leave at any point. I'm a I'm an entrepreneur, and that's how I look at my business. Yeah, yeah, no, and that's been really, really clear. Now, one 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 small addition to that is that you have uh, somewhat adopted to a more collaborative environment now. Uh, with oh your, yeah, with, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. so now that, you're running with. Well. Yeah, bro. That, that's the biggest thing. I mean, out there before, first of all, I had only been in the business before I came to EXP three years and um, I should not be the top producing agent. So that was another thing. I'm looking around. I shouldn't be the number one agent in your office. And if and if you've been somewhere for two or three years and you're number one agent around your office, you need to get a new crew. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so 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 first and foremost, you know, I I, I saw that. But then coming over, bro, like I just never experienced the level of collaboration where I was at before. Um, I was competition, you know, and people would tell me that, hey, you're the competition. I'm like, no, actually, you know, uh, you're not my competition, you know. Um, but that was just the that was the atmosphere versus when I came over here. I've never felt like so much love, so much collaboration. Um just the, the things that we've done, dude, in, in, in 12 months, man, if people only knew, you know, like there, there, there's so much separation happening and so much separation that's happened in a year. And it's just it, it, it's unbelievable, bro. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. And, and I kind of want to give you the stage on that, too, to to lay that out for for those that are looking at this model. Right. And so and how important the alignment has been for you. Uh, for you to be able to, you know, grow and build upon what you have going on. Um, I'd like for you to kind of expand upon that. Like what what building blocks have you put together, brother, for you to to kind of change your business a little bit? Yeah, man. So so first of all, being at any other brokerage or just my experience, right? It, it's it's all about you lost me. It's all about selling more homes. Right. And that will burn you out. There's so much out there aside from selling, you know, 50, 60, 70 homes. And I didn't realize that until I got here. So what that what that's looked like, I mean, just in a year, um, I've developed a six figure passive income stream. 
you know, <laughs> six figure passive income stream. So just on my 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 rev share is is more than some agents will make in a year. And that's that's life changing, bro, because every month it doubles every month. It's been. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. And, yeah. and it's I, I hate when people ask me. I. Like, what do you like about uh, how you doing at EXP? And it's, it just sounds so cliche because I'm like, it's great. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, well, that's what I hear from everybody. I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I don't yeah, know what else to tell you, bro. It's kind of like that uh, that reel that's on uh, that's all over the social media. He's like, you, you can't just say that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> So tell us about that. Bro. Tell us about that one point, man. Like you're, you're talking about revenue share. You're talking about your organization and congratulations. First year in the game here at EXP, over 100 agents in your organization. How, how does that happen, brother? How does that happen? Honestly, bro, brother, it's, it, it's, it's seeing where the market's going and what EXP has. A lot of folks don't realize it right now, but it's changing the landscape. There, there will not be another brokerage created that does not try to offer ownership in the company and revenue share, like hands down. Because, I mean, there's, I can see an end now. Before I could not see an end, and it was, it was super stressful. And I, they, I was looking for something, and then this came, and, uh, and, and yeah, bro, it's, it's. it's Nothing will be the same. Nothing will be the same. Yeah, I can't even imagine. I mean, to to grow a six figure passive revenue stream in a year, right? Actually, a little bit in less. Right. But let, let me add this. So, um, at my last brokerage, right? So they they founded the model, which we all appreciate, right? I um, there was one person I knew with a six figure profit share. Mm -hmm. I asked him, not trying to recruit him or anything. I just needed to know. I asked him, I said, you know, how long did it take you to um, create that six figure uh, profit share? He told me 13 years. I had done it by month six. That's when I knew this was a powerful model. Yeah, that's when I knew you weren't going nowhere. <laughs> 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 I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I said no, nah, man. I called Decatur. I called Decatur G up. I said, bro, uh, we got a home. We got a homestayer. We got a homesteader here. <laughs> but uh, but on the on on the real talk side, bro, like, what kind of impact has that had for you and your family, bro? Like that that those kind of numbers change the dynamics of the way people live day to day. Yeah. Um, could you give some insight on that? Yeah, bro. I'll, I'll give you some deep insight, bro. Like I, you know, I, I burned out last year, you know, like I did a lot, man. I sold uh, 29 homes, almost 18 million and uh, recruited almost a hundred agents, bro. So <clears throat> I literally burnt out and uh, I just put it all down. You know, this, I put yeah. it all down. I, I stopped taking calls, like everything. I, I just stopped working for about a month and a half. And guess what? I still had a check coming in. Mortgage was still paid. Um, and that's when I knew, like, I mean, I'm putting in the work, but I was grateful for the model. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, and I, re I remember that because mm -hmm. uh, you and I were ultra connected in it and uh, and having a reset and you you did you did you. And um, I kind of in thinking back on it, man, I remember thinking at the time, I'm like, man, even 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 Kobe and Jordan got to take the season off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like we got to get back in the game. So um, but the fact that you had that income still coming in to be able to sustain, to be able to live your life, to be able to provide for your family. I mean, there's mm -hmm. a lot to be said about that. Oh, there's a ton to be said. There's a ton. But like I said, this is probably the biggest opportunity that people are watching. I mean, just when I came, the company was at, um, I think it was like 50,000 agents. Now we're at like 77,000. Uh, I, I think I put it in my post one of the other days. I think you asked about the growth. 
I couldn't stop it if I wanted to at this point. You know what I'm saying? So I'm at 100 now. This time next year, I should be at 300. Yeah. And I can't stop it. No, no, you can't. Nor should you. Right. But uh... <laughs> there's nothing I can do to stop it. It's just it's just, it just happens. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like everybody is sitting and watching people around them come to EXP. And that's right. what I saw. And that's why I said I had to go. Right. Because I, I remember when I decided to come, I called you guys. You guys tried to take me to dinner. And what I say? I said, I don't even like food like that. I was like, just send me the shit. Let me sign it. And uh, and, and I'm coming. That's it. I, I don't need nothing yeah. else. I just need to get to work. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly. And it's because, exactly. And it's because I, I knew that everyone was coming. I just needed to be there to welcome them. 100 percent, man. So so for and let's let's get back to like, you know, the agents that are seeing this or that will see this. Right. Mm -hmm. And so they, you have a powerful personality, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you're, you're an entity amongst yourself. And what if I'm just a regular agent, man? What what words of advice would you share with an agent that says, hey, well, I can't build 100 agents like Will did, um, mm -hmm. right? What can they do? What kind of impact can they have by coming into this platform, right? That mm -hmm. is not based on an individual. Um, it's based on a model, correct? Yep. yep, exactly. And I think you hit it. It's not based on an individual. You know, I don't I don't have to be as charismatic as I am. Right. Because that that hundred I didn't recruit that hundred. I only recruited 30. Boom. I talked to 30 people. I bought 30 people in. The rest was other agents telling other agents. I mean, when I was at uh, uh, Keller Williams, I think I had 20 people, 20 something people in my in my rev share line. And I only recruited two or three people. So it's not about me. It's about the model and it being amazing compared to everything else that's out there. And if you enjoy something that you're doing, you're going to tell somebody. And guess what? They're going to tell somebody. But guess what? You never know who that person knows. And like I said, you can't stop it. Right. So if I did right. nothing, if I did nothing else from 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 now on, um, but transact like we all do, it will continue to grow. Yeah, definitely will. And and another element that I really love about your business, man, is that I'm I'm consistently seeing every single day and we show it in uh, in social proof on social media. Mm -hmm. But your agents, your team, they're growing as well. Yes. Right? Yes. And so that's another concept behind this that I want you to elaborate on is like when we we pour in and when we bring agents on. It's they're not left alone on an island, so to speak. Yeah. You know, and I've gotten that feedback before. It's like, OK, well, you got 30 people. How how are you going to to help me? Um, we have systems and processes in place to to help everybody. Right. Um, and most of the people that I attract, they want the help with the social media. They want help with uh, with, you know, paid ads and stuff like that. That stuff I do on a regular, like this model, the collaboration, the revenue share, it promotes everyone helping everyone else. So everything I do in this model, I just open up the books. Literally everything I do, they can do. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's been really, really evident. So on a weekly basis, kind of run us through an overview on a weekly basis. What kind of... Uh, what kind of additional value um, are they mm -hmm. getting as being part of your group and your organization? Well, yep. what, are, what do they participate in? Yeah, so every every Monday morning, we have a Monday morning mastermind, right? Um, every Tuesday and Thursday, we have something called the agent liftoff. So that's for newer agents kind of to get ramped up. Wednesdays, we have script practice. Tuesdays after agent liftoff, um, we have Zillow Flex meetings. Um, I have open office hours. Um, I have one-on-one -on -one coaching with my agents. So, I mean, it's just endless, man. It, it's, it's, you get more touch points than you would at any other brokerage. And guess what? We've been doing virtual. No one does virtual like we do. So that's why when this pandemic broke out, we continued to grow. We were already set up to handle this. I mean, this is the future. You know what I mean? If you're still going into the office religiously, Nobody else is there. And if they are yeah. there, they're not getting any work done. 
Yeah, no, no. Key point right there, man. Key point. So, I mean, all that organizational value that, that, you know, we provide here at Dream Chasers, on top of all that, they get everything else at eXp, mm -hmm. everything else. So it's just really amazing to see how much opportunity is there and to be in this virtual world or this metaverse. I mean, it's becoming more of a, um, a talking point now, right? You, in, in real estate and in other industries, but uh, these cats have been doing it for a little while here. Man, and I'll tell you, it may sound simple, but one of the biggest things that I was excited about coming here was getting my check at the escrow company. Literally, <laughs> after I close the deal, I get my check. That was huge to me. <laughs> and you guys were like, what is this guy talking about? That was huge. Getting That was one of the hardest things, getting my check. And guess what? If I don't pick it up at the escrow company, it gets direct deposited to me. Yeah. Why were we in the Stone Age? Yeah, it's crazy talk, huh? Crazy. Insane, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, man. Well, well, a couple other things, brother, before we wrap this up, man. Tell us, um, everybody that I've ever spoken to, the people that we know in our common circles, they always refer to you as this social media marketing branding uh, kind of guru, right? Mm -hmm. So did you have experience before real estate in doing all that? Or you just, did you just kind of pick up on it because you're kind of techie? <laughs> so what people don't know is that I have a, a MBA in marketing. You know, oh. I work for Coca-Cola. I work for Hasbro Toy Company. Um, so I work for all these big brands. And, um, and literally coming over to or switching to real estate, I actually got to use that experience because when you work in corporate America, they literally try to silo you and you have one job. Well, when I got to working on my own, I really got to do the things I enjoy doing. And then I outsourced the other things. So, you know, my creativity um, is really what sets me apart. And I, I've been able to use that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think you and I kind of click on that. We, we try to find like our creative genius amongst ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, and, and tell me if this is your experience as well. For me, it's like a moment of being able just to kind of go in my own space. And it's, uh, it's actually kind of healing to be able to do something creative and then put it out mm -hmm. in the atmosphere. I don't know. That's how I feel about it. You, you can tell what mood I am by by how much I'm posting and how creative I'm, I, I am. So I'm good right now. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I love that. So uh, so let's uh, let's press fast forward for a hot second, brother. Uh, mm -hmm. Share with us. Want to give you the, the stage. Go ahead and share with us a little bit about your personal vision, your business vision. Give me give us the, the one year from now. And I want to hear the five year. Uh, what, what does Will look like in five years? Man, uh, five, five years, dude. So yes. right now, I mean, even right now, just within this one year, I've moved into more of a management role and, um, people don't know, but you know, we're buying businesses. So, <laughs> so we're, we're buying businesses like the, this rev share means something and you can do meaningful things with it, um, because you can count on it. And we're buying businesses. So, uh, I mean, the, the future is bright, man. Thing, like I said, everything is changing. Nothing will ever be the same. And it's literally because I made one small decision. 100%, brother. 100%. And uh, buying the business is a big, is a big um, point and conversation that we have amongst ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. And so to be able to put that into fruition and, and really live... Um, a forging path of creating generational wealth is is really going to be the legacy and i know i know you share that vision yes sir all right i love it my brother well any uh any last words that you want to share if not brother i'd like for you to at least uh share some of your social media um and i'll throw it in the i'll throw it in the chat here so that way we can close it out for everybody how can they best get a hold of you yeah, I'm at Will Higgins. So at W-I-L-L-H-I-G-G-I-N-S underscore underscore. And that's on IG. All right. So follow Mr. Will Higgins on IG. Follow him on Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, and every other social platform. 
Um, and in terms of our buyers and sellers in the market, brother, um, go ahead and uh, go ahead and pop out your number and the area that you specialize in. I'm not giving. I'm, uh, uh, I don't, that's that's the that's the beauty of this. I don't have to work that's with the buyers funny. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you, you big time then. Okay. Okay. Wow. That's the beauty of this. <laughs> hey, I got I got you guys. Holler at your boy. So <laughs> Call if you want to buy a house. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Well, once again, Will, thank you for uh for getting on this uh on this broadcast, brother. Um, let's let's do it again in another six months, another year. Um, I am personally very excited about what you're putting together here and your partnership again means everything to me and our organization. So thank you from Leader for the Front. Um Appreciate you. And uh, thanks to everybody for tuning in really quick. Uh, we'll be streaming this live uh, every single week. And we look forward to seeing you next week on next week's broadcast. Let's go.